Hi there, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to have a look at the Sonoff CT Clamp Smart Power Meter. Uh, thank you to Sonoff for sending me this. Let's go and have a look at it. So the Sonoff POW ring is available directly from Sonoff by going to their ITAD, ITEAD.cc website. And I can give you a 10% off code. And the code is Daniel RC15 and Sonoff is the full code, as you can see there on the screen now. I'll also put that code in the description below and a direct link to that page if you fancy buying it. So the Sonoff POW, uh, lots of information on the web page as well. If you want to know more after you've watched this video, as I say, there's a direct link in the description of the video. If you want to go straight to it, it gives you some specifications and more kind of description information um, and a lot more about what you can actually do with the uh, POW ring itself. But let's get on with the unboxing. Okay, so this is the box, the POW ring box. Quite a nice looking box. It's got all details on the back. So what's in the box? Smart power meter switch, uh, a current transformer, one meter length, an antenna with a cable length of 30 centimeters, a silicon seal ring, two screws, mounting base, and a quick guide as well. So the sleeve is off. So this is what we've got. So let's start in the top here. Got the ring that we've talked about and two very small screws here as well. So this is the antenna with the extension part, screwing part here as well. And then we've got the clamp itself. Hopefully you're no stranger to these if you've got solar and uh, battery storage already, you'll know uh, which way around these go and different things. So on here we've got imprinted on it 300 volts maximum, uh, zero to 100 amps. And then we've got the extension cable on here as well. Nice foam inserts on here as well, which is really nice to see. And then we've got the main unit itself button at the top here and three lights and then a cover protecting the antenna extension and then the port for the CT clamp to go into and then there's four ports on the bottom as well these are to power it and I'll open the cover in a second and then finally on the back we've got a clip uh, for different mounting purposes you can just take that off so you can actually screw that to the wall or wherever you're going to put it and then just clip it back on. Uh, eventually we'll see some readings on the front here, but obviously the app is also where you're going to see your data and hopefully in Home Assistant as well. We've then got the instruction manual, guide 1.0 with lots of different instructions and locations of where you can actually place it and how to wire it up. So then your ports on the bottom, you've got the neutral and the live. Now you need to add those in, in order to power it, your comm, and you've got like a contact to kind of switch in here. And just above it, it shows you, um, basically it can only go 0 to 30 volts on that maximum of two amps just for basically switching it so here's the on and off switch now remember if you turn this on and off it's not going to stop the readout uh, it's not going to stop um, this showing and displaying or you calculating your readout uh, they're still going to be powered by the two cables here 
but the on off switch here and the on off switch that's in the app or in the uh, echo dot or via home assistant is from this contact point here which will just be a normal on off switch so clicking this button here and in the app will turn this switch on and off so normally something that you'll actually look at powering or you want to turn on and off separately so once you've got the things connected obviously the ct clamps going in the top and i've just screwed on the extension uh, for the wi-fi antenna here as well and then it's really just a matter of powering it putting the ct clamp around something and then getting it installed into the app so as you can see here, I've got it set up now. I've got it plugged in. I'm just running a normal household plug through the live and the neutral here at the bottom. And I've just sort of terminated the earth. So as soon as you turn it on, uh, the screen alternates between different readings. So I've got the voltage here on the top, 243.5. It's just changed. Um, and then I've got the amps at the bottom there, which is reading zero because I've got the clamp uh, over here with nothing on it and then it just rotates around to kilowatt hours and watts on the bottom and we've got a wi-fi kind of signal light flashing here as well and we've got the on off switch here too as well which is catered for by this button i can turn that on and off as well so now on to the ct clamp itself briefly now if you've got solar and battery storage etc or an ev charger you know all about these things and sometimes you can put them on the wrong way around uh, easy to write though because you just basically unclip them and then turn them around the other way and put them on but inside here you can probably see or not see there is p2 with an arrow going that way p1 p2 so going this way around that means that your mains power to the item needs to be this way around so your item that you're measuring needs to be on this side where my finger is following the arrow also remember about this that you can't just put a mains cable such as this one with a plug on it straight in here and you'll get to measure it that's not how this works because you've got the earth the neutral and the live in here so all you need to have in the ct clamp is the live cable nothing else and it says that inside the instructions as well right so i'm in the garage at the moment here's the give energy battery and here's the sewn off item on the top here hopefully you can see there that We've got 2.3 watts and 0.2 amps coming out. I've just added it onto the Give Energy battery just as I had no kind of bare live cables anywhere in the house to really add this onto. So I thought I'd come into the garage and have a look and just get some values out for you to show that it does actually work. Right, so I'm just going to add it to the Ewe Link app. So plus on the top, add device, and I choose next, and it's now scanning for the device. And there we go. Held the button down, and now we've found the Sonoff POWCT. I'm just going to add that. Now it's gone green. And the Echo Dot has also found it. And then next, I'll leave the name as it is. And then I don't want to share it with my family so i'm going to say done and here it comes in straight on the top go into it you can see the current month and the power we've got the schedule the timer and the loop timer 
and we can see even more in here as well we can see the usual graphs uh, with daily monthly yearly values and all of the different kilowatt hours for yesterday today the current month the current amps the current voltage and the power as well and it also says new firmware available so if we go into that the current version is 110 but there is a 111 so i'm just going to update the firmware and it's just upgrading that now here we go upgrade successful just go back into it current version latest version 111 So down here looks like we can set threshold settings with the maximum minimum power and the voltage and the amps as well and we've also got reset consumption if we need to for the values and then we can just turn it on or off there we go so we're now in the um, ALEXA app and you can see here that it says the POWCT is connected so I just tap on that so in here we can create a routine or we can turn the power on or off we could also talk to the Echo Dot or Amazon and get it to turn it on and off via the voice as well and choose device types and edit the name as well okay so I'm in home assistant now I'm going to basically go into the sewn off area and see if it's in there now so it's not in there at the moment so i'm just going to reload on here and go into devices and there's my powct if i click on that then I can see some of the attributes of the sensor. So we've got the current, uh, the energy for the day, energy for the month, the power, the current power, and the voltage as well. And then we've got the POWCT control for the on and off. And then if we go into the developer tool section and see the states, uh, we can see we've got the various entities and the attributes as well so um, such as the unit of measurement device class of energy and power and voltage and whether it was on or off and the actual voltage measurements and other energy uh, currents and measurements as well that we can use however we want whether we want to graph them whether we want to just view them be able to turn the item on and off etc etc so that's it for the video thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did uh, give us a like and don't forget to leave a comment and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber thanks for watching see you soon